Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. I know you can't see much right now, but I'm on my way. Oh, he just turned on the light. I'm headed over to Munzi. That is a Jewish like town or area. It's one of the biggest Jewish populations. Got 4% of the Jewish people, right? And we're gonna go try some Jewish food. Check it out. All right, guys, I know you can't see me, but this is just a progress report. I made it up here to Munzi. It's a very dark place. And uh, I'm gonna go into this here Jewish house and check out the Jewish food. All right, let's go. All right, guys, the Jewish people is about to eat and I'm gonna see what they're gonna have. Yes, never seen this before, guys, never. This is the Jewish method of cutting steak. I believe the plastic fork has something to do with it. Fantastic. Look at this delicious beef. It is beef, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's a ribeye steak. It's a ribeye steak, all right. And over here is the Jewish style platter. As you can see, it got some onions in it. You got some bread. You see? Jewish style. He's cutting it with a plastic fork as well. Only with a plastic fork. It's very important. Look, and this is the Jewish assembly of a hamburger. Um, Danny got those arms out of me. No worries. Bye, Danny. You're adding? Hmm? So, let me take the piece of Okay, what sauce is that, sir? It looks like a cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's a spicy meat. It's spicy it's sriracha good. slash. Um, we, don't, we, don't, we don't eat cheese. In nacho the cheese. No <laughs> cheese. There's no cheese on the burgers, guys. No cheese on the burgers. No cheese on the burgers. But although no, that no. looks suspiciously like cheese, doesn't it? Uh -huh. it, it looks it looks like it. Okay. Not a chance. Okay. That's about it. And then it's done. And once. There's a method to eating it backwards, special. Wow. Mm. You start from the back and you make yourself way to the front of the burger. Are we still talking about burgers? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to try the steak. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's delicious. All right, so now the steak. Hmm. It's quite lean. It might be a grass-fed piece of beef. Very tasty, but lean. But although it doesn't look lean, it's tender. It's strange. How is it lean, but also tender and flavorful? Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Eight. All right, now their chicken that they refer to as baby chicken. At first, you know, to me, baby chicken is the chicken that's still inside the egg. You know, so that's, that's uh, much different. So I'll give this chicken a try right over here. Chicken, guys. Mmm, it's really good. It's more slippery than regular chicken. You got that slipperiness to it. It's like the flesh is uh, slippery. Hmm. All right. And now the hamburger. Now I got the. Uh, what what kind of bread is this, guys? Mazoriness. Mazoriness bun. It's a it's a it's a potato bread. Say Mazoriness bun. Mazoriness. Mazoriness bun. Mazoriness bun, guys. Now I'm gonna take a bite of this burger. Mm. 
Good. Mm. All right. It's like, so it was the eight for the steak, about a 9.5 for the chicken, and the burger gets a 7.5, which is actually, you know, really good. All right. So thanks for watching the Jewish food video taking place over here in the actual Jewish home in the actual area that's extremely Jewish called Munze. Thank you for watching. Jewish seltzer. Jewish seltzer? Jewish, Jewish it's, it's two like, times <clears throat> carbonated water. It's like spicy really? water. Like spicy oh, water. one last thing. Spicy. Jewish seltzer. I, I drink a lot of seltzer, so I gotta see if there's any different. All right, you know how regular seltzer, the carbonation, you drink it, it hits you, and it goes from zero to 10, you know, in the bubbliness? This one skips three, four, and five. It goes from like one, two, then eight, nine, 10. You know, boom, bubbliness. Yeah, Jewish seltzer. Now, thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys.